while these, this has been long planned, we feel that schools and students are familiar uh, with teaching and testing digitally. And this is us in some ways catching up to where they are and getting rid of the number two pencils and the bubble sheets and the shipping and the packing um, and really trying to make this at its core a less stressful, uh, less onerous experience for both students and the educators who actually bring the SAT to them uh, every day. We want the test to be able to be um, given on the widest range of devices possible, right? since students have a wide range of devices that they own and use. So specifically, students are going to be able to use a personally owned or a school issued device, right? Many are getting them from their school to use throughout the school year. And that can be a laptop or a tablet. If there are students who don't have access to their own or a school issued device to take the SAT on a weekend, we will loan them one for test day and we will do that globally. We've designed our digital testing application to require the bare minimum number of moments of connectivity. It's really to start the test and eventually to upload their results. Anything that happens in the middle for those two hours while they're testing, it doesn't matter. If Wi-Fi drops, they can keep testing. Their work will get saved. It'll get uploaded when they reconnect. The SAT still is, and colleges are telling us this, a vital part of their holistic admissions process, right? Where they look at all aspects that the student submits and look at them in context, context of where the student lives, and learns, their family situation, et cetera. And when used in context, the SAT helps open doors to students, doors to colleges and universities, doors to scholarships to pay for those colleges and universities. And we see that in the data every year.